This is such an interesting point. I was talking about how I do like attention. As a matter of fact, I'm really comfortable with attention. I like being uh, the leader, I guess, for the most part. But this lady responds, um, but it leads to self-indulgence, love of self instead of others. But no judgment here. You're definitely gifted, but it can be over the top. Such an interesting point, and I love to talk about it. I guess the first thing that comes to my mind is I equate like self-love with the same kind of uh, theory as self-confidence and arrogance. So confidence is believing I'm good, I love me, but I love the other people too. Whereas arrogance is like, oh no, I love me and I'm better than everyone else and I love myself more than everyone else. So I think there's, <laughs> in life, everything's about having a healthy balance, right? But unfortunately, I think what happens in our society and has been happening is that women have been uh, told that the ultimate way to be as a woman is to love others more than ourselves. And I think that that is killing the women internally, definitely killing their sex drive. I also think that this ebbs and flows in life. There are times where I really do pull away from the world and focus on some self-indulgence and self-love. And then there's other times where I am completely focused on everyone else. Um, obviously the best case scenario is I can equally focus loving myself and loving other people. But the best part about really loving yourself, genuinely loving yourself, it makes you love other people better. And it also, uh, helps you identify who you should give your love to based on the boundaries that you've established to protect your heart. Loving yourself doesn't make you selfish. Um, I think what it does is it helps you identify where you can give and where you can't give so that you can be a healthier person, you know, just getting through this journey of life. So I think it's all about balance and perspective, but that's just me.